Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters, praise be to Allah, the Almighty, the one who blessed us with the night of Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 days of Ramadan and the day of Arafah in the 10 first days of the Hijjah. The day of Arafah has many virtues. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah in Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayah number three. The day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen you, Islam, as your religion. This ayat or this ayah was revealed on the day of Arafah, while the Prophet ﷺ was delivering the sermon on the day of Arafah and it was Friday. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made an oath in two different verses, two different surah, Surah Al-Buruj and Surah Al-Fajr, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made an oath by mentioning the day of Arafah. In Surah Al-Buruj, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala state, وَشَاهِدٍ وَمَشْهُودٍ and in Surah Al-Fajr, وَالشَّفْعِ وَالْوَتْرِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made an oath and he make an oath only for something great, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also it is narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith which is reported by Imam Ibn Hibban where the Prophet sallallahu said there is no better day in the sight of Allah than the day of Arafah. Also, it is a day where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free more slaves from the hellfire. And this is based on the hadith which is in Sahih Muslim where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that which means there is no day on which Allah sets free more slaves from the hellfire than he does on the day of Arafah. It is a day of the dua and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said in the hadith, the best dua is a dua that I said and what other prophets said before me, which is, there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. He has no partner and he is the absolute owner of the heavens and earth. All praise due to him and he has power over all things. The, the dua that the Prophet ﷺ said is La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah Lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir This is the best dua that we can say on the day of Arafah We know that on the Laylatul Qadr Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha asked the Prophet ﷺ What should I say if on the night of uh, Laylatul Qadr He told her Allahumma innaka afoon tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you forgive and you love to forgive, so forgive me. On the day of Arafah, that's what we should say. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd. Wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. And especially uh, on this day of, which is going to be tomorrow, Thursday, uh, July 30th, we should make a lot of dua especially on this time of the epidemic. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove it and we ask him to descend his mercy and forgiveness upon all of us. Allahumma ameen. On the day of Arafah, the Prophet sallallahu described shaitan, how he is humiliated, dishonored and angry because he sees that on that day, the day of Arafah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala treat his servant and his slaves by forgiveness forgiving all of them, forgiving and honoring them, uh, especially those who seek his forgiveness. So that's why I'm urging, first of all, myself and my humble dear brothers and sisters, especially those who can afford to fast on this blessed day of the day of Arafah, because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he uh, recommended uh, highly recommended to fast this day of Arafah by saying fasting the day of Arafah will expiate for the sins of the previous year 
and the coming year. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to enable us to fast on this blessed day. And we ask Him to forgive our sins. And we ask Him to, uh, uh, to cure all of us and to lift this epidemic on all of us. Allahumma ameen ya rabbil alameen. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Wa taqabbal Allahu min naumikum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all your good deeds. Allahumma ameen. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.